Also tonight, President Biden says the pandemic is over. But local health leaders say it's not that simple. Two News reporter Allison Gens joins us now live in the studio. Allison, what do they say that the president's words actually mean for this region? John Brook here in the Miami Valley, we've started to see cases decline from the most recent peak. Now, health officials say whether or not it's labeled a pandemic, how we handle it will stay the same. The pandemic in, is over. We still have a problem with COVID. We're still doing a lot of work on it. Dan Cipolletto with Public Health Dayton and Montgomery County says a change in name will not change our COVID-19 response. We're still recommending the full doses of COVID-19 vaccine, regardless of whether it's a pandemic or not. Obviously, if you're sick from COVID-19, you're still going to need to isolate whether it's a pandemic or not. There's still about 400 people a day dying in the United States. That, that's still happening, whether it's called a pandemic or not. The White House later clarified that the president's statement is based on public sentiment, not to minimize the hundreds dying each day from the virus. Mercer County Health Commissioner Jason Menchofer says that public sentiment is reflected in his community. I think you're locally. We feel like the, the pandemic's pretty well over. Uh, you know, there's very few people in the area here wearing masks or, or taking extra precautions. Dr. Roberto Colon with Miami Valley Hospital says the president's words signal a switch in phases from COVID-19 being a new disease to one that we're learning to live with. I would caution people to uh, taking that too lightly and, uh, and, and kind of getting the sense that things are done. We don't have to worry about COVID anymore because that is not it at all. Now, as we move into the fall and winter months, health, health officials say they haven't let their guard down, but a positive sign is that less hospitalizations, there were less hospitalizations in our latest wave of cases. In the studio, Allison Gens, 5 on 2.